welcome to UNIVIP. In this experiment, we'll be talking about the determination of Hall coefficient. So before no going to Hall coefficient, let's talk more about Hall effect. Hall effect is an uh, effect due to which a resultant electric field or a resultant voltage is caused when a current carrying conductor is placed inside a magnetic field. This is due to the charge displacement and the disproportionality and creating of the uh, potential difference within it. So today we're going to be calculating Hall coefficient of a small germanium uh, semiconductor which is embedded right over here. In this circuit over here we have a small germanium. This is my uh, Hall probe. I, I even have another Hall probe to measure the, uh, this uh, gus, that is magnetic field strength. This Hall probe will help me to measure the resultant voltage, that is the Hall voltage over here. Right? Now let me tell you something about this devices over here. About here we have the whole setup effect, same device as we used as four probe method. The only thing difference we don't have the oven, and even over here you'll be having to you'll be setting up the uh, current up to uh, approximately to 2.0 milli uh, amperes. Then switch it back, which gives me my 30.3. Now see over here one thing that whenever my probe is out, I already have a reading of 30.4. That means this is my error. You should not be considering 30.4. Now the next reading which I'll be getting which is uh, 41.5. This is not exactly 41.5. It is 30.7 minus 41.5. You should be able to do that because 30.1 or 30.2, what we have over here is an uncertainty and that is a positive uncertainty and you should be deducting it from the actual result. All right, this right here, buddy, is my gas meter. This will help me measure the magnetic field strength within my electromagnet. This setup right here, is my electromagnet right so when I put my probe inside see in uh, this is my gus reading right now you can see there was a minus sign over there right this minus sign is because of the change in polarity all I gotta do I kept it like this I gotta just gotta switch it like this there you go the positive value all right so every time you get a negative value when you're putting the whole probe inside make sure to just switch the polarity or switch the direction on which you're putting it and then you get the positive result this body right here is my power supply the amount of current supplied to this electromagnet over here will change the magnetic field strength, right? So with this, I can alter the magnetic field, alter the magnetic field by altering the uh, current passing through it. That is, I can alter the current with help of this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start taking the measurement from 0 0.5 till 3.0. That is six different readings starting from 0 0.5. All right, let me set up my uh, current reading to 0 0.5. Um, even if it's not exactly 0 0.5, sometimes it does not matter. Uh, you just got to put it approximately. So try to make it as accurate as you can. Let's measure my whole uh, voltage. Uh, let's measure my gas uh, magnetic field strength, the gas value first. And my polarity is negative, so I'm going to just change the direction. There you go, positive. So look, my first reading is 69, so I'll be tabulating the value. And as you can see, the switch is on times 10 mode over here. Right, the switching on tens times 10 mode. This means that whatever value you are getting over here, you should be multiplying it by times 10. Remember, the switch is on times 10, so you should be multiplying it by times 10. And same as over here, when the whole probe is out, you see the temp uh, the reading is already 9 gus. And in result, when the mode is in times 10, it's 90 gus minus 90 gus. That means it's below zero, which means that I have to add this value. That is, whatever reading I'm getting, suppose. Let me put my gas meter inside, it's 67, if gas probe inside, it's 67, that is 670 gas. So I'm going to be adding plus 90, that will be my actual result, including the error in the device, right? So this is a normal setup, and this is how it is done. This is my Hall effect, device is over here, this is used to control. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to increase the temperature to one point, sorry, I'm, I'm current reading to 1.0, uh, 1.5, 2.0, 2.5, 3.0, 3.5 and take six different reading, plot, plot a graph, sorry, no, not plot a graph, this, in this experiment you're not plotting a graph, you're just tabulating the values and you're gonna find the value. So in the next, uh, so in a couple of minutes, I'll be showing you how to do the calculation. Let me break it down for the calculation part for you now for this Hall effect. All right, we have to calculate the Hall effect value, Rh is equal to Vxt by Ih, right? We calculated the value of Ih, Thickness T is already given to you on the chart on the board. You just have to go and see it. And VT, we calculated this value from the table, and I'm going to show you my sample table over here. These are the values, right? I'm going to calculate Hall coefficient for each and everything that is. 
for each and every sum I'm gonna put the value of pH which is from this the thickness T is always constant the I find I that I supply and H from here all right I hope you're following all right you put each and every value from the table itself right you're gonna do it for each and every for the current all the six different values that you take right and in the end the mean value of RH will be the resultant value that you use for example as you can see I'm calculated the mean too so the mean value of RH will be the resultant value of the RH right in this portion they also expect us to calculate the current density and charge mobility as you have studied uh, in semiconductor chapter first chapter actually you can see the application of the value of RH is that you can calculate charge density n is equals to 1 by RH times Q and charge mobility mu is equals to RH Sigma all right so you're gonna be we're gonna study how to calculate this we're gonna see I'm gonna show you how to calculate this after we have the value of RH we know the value of Q is equals to 1.9 into 10 to the power minus sorry 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 column I get confused a lot of time okay 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 column right I got the value of RH the value of RH I'll be using is the mean value from the table the mean value from the table over here right so I'm going to be calculating my charge density as soon over here now the same, second thing I want to calculate is my charge mobility mu which is RH times Sigma the value of Sigma is given to you already the conductivity of a sample is already given that is 0 0.1 is the conductivity of the sample so what I'm going to do just multiply the value of mean RH this value is the mean from the table yes times 0 0.1 this will be your charge mobility and this is all you need to do in the calculation of all probe it is a very easy experiment to do and very easy calculations to do thank you